Hi, I'm here today, back again with Sean, and she's had her hair done by Neil Moody, and now I'm going to do her makeup. So, well, you know, we've had a few technical problems today, to say the least. Um, but I said to Sean, come down and I'll do your makeup. She's not going anywhere tonight, so a bit of voice. Huh? She might be now. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, Sean, let me just tell you a little bit about Sean. Sean is a model booker and um, she works, well, you're the director, no? Yes. Or Myself and Tori. Test manager. Um, who do you look after? I'm going to let you tell them. Who do you look after? Um, well, we look after George May Jagger, Adwa, Suki Waterhouse, um, various different talent. Quite major people. <laughs> and so I've known Sean for a long time, and she's always um, with the girls chaperoning and um, just generally person to chat with. So um, I said, come down. She never has any time for herself because she's always looking after the girls. I said, okay, what is it that you want? And she said, everyday makeup, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I said, did you bring makeup bag? She said, no, I left it at the office. So I'm just gonna wing it. I've got a few products. Um, so she, I'm gonna try and, it's kind of not really silly cook. I've got a few things. Now, first of all, you say you don't really use a um, foundation, right? No, I don't. Sometimes I use like a BB cream, but I'm okay. just, yeah. And so then I said to her, oh, why don't we try these, what I got. This is new. Amaritzia, they're like tinted moisturizers. I like this brand, um, and I think you might like it, you know. Uh, let's see if it's the right colour. That's a good colour for me. Sean did say to me she's been on holiday, so she's going to be a bit, yeah. yeah. I mean, I'm going to check it on her hand. Kiss. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going to check it on her hand. I mean, yeah, that's nice for you. Let's have a look at this one. Also, I mean, you could even go darker yeah. if you wanted. You could do this yourself, but just for time factor, I'm going to do it to you. I'm putting on like a moisturiser, just a little bit in the hand. Okay, now I'm going to have to change my position. Right, so this is just a nice soft base. I mean, Sean's got a good skin. This is just like really easy, quick little base for an everyday. Like them, comes in three colours, I think. Does it smell like? It smells quite nice. Yeah? It smell, it, yeah. What's it feel like? It feels nice, smooth. Yeah? Yeah. It feels quite light. Yeah, it's quite. Because I feel like sometimes you put, Yeah, I feel like sometimes you put it on and it can feel like to me it feels a bit sort of cakey okay, sometimes. Yeah. yeah, and that and that, it's nice when it feels quite light and fresh. Well, it's got an SPS twenty in. That's so good. yeah, so we like that. So what else? You said mascara, didn't yep. you? I thought a couple of mascaras because you said you like mascara. Everyone's different about what they want. So. Um, have a look at these two, see if you like them. Yep. I think they're good mascaras and they're quite reasonably priced. Okay. So have a look. This one's okay, but it looks a little bit cloggy. Oh, All right, okay. Me. So that's a no to no. Me. No, so no, no. I'd yeah. probably say no to that one. Um, but this one looks good. We like that one. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I like Should that, use that one. one. Yeah. Great. <laughs> but I'm going to curl the lashes because that's what I do. And just look down, darling. Just look down. And. And also, what I thought we might do is do a little bit with the eyebrows because Sean doesn't normally, so let's just try it out. Right. Right, there's a scar on. So how did you get into being a model booker then? Um, well, one of my friends was a model. Oh yeah. Um, and I used to kind of go with her sometimes and we used to hang out a lot and go on shoots and things. Oh, okay. And then I was in the agency one day. Yeah. And the owner of the agency at the time 
was pregnant and she was spend, like, spending a lot of time sort of in and out of the office. Yeah. And I just ended up kind of helping out around the agency and just loved it. Oh, right. What, um, what agency was that? This was an agency. They're not open anymore. It was, oh, it was an agency. Go on, try me that one, like. All oh, right. So I started helping out there and then I went to work at an agency. Um, I, I worked, just helped out and stuff yeah. for a while and then I went to work at an agency after that. I just loved it and went and got a job in an agency and then just kind of worked my way up and then taught, I went to work at IMG for a while. Oh yeah, and which then, is a big agency. And then um, Tori and I had always sort yeah. of known each other for years because she'd been at Models One and we sort of always kind of were chatting like whenever we'd see each other at events and things. Um, and then we just ended up working together at Independent for six right. and a half, seven years, I think it was. Yeah. And then we just decided to set up tests and do our own thing. But you know what? How did you, I mean, just from going in the agency, did you, uh, how did you, because being a model book is quite complicated, right? It's not easy, is it? It's yeah. not like you need to negotiate with people about rates, um, time, yeah. like be a bit of a travel agent, be a bit yes. of a psychiatrist, be, you know, it's kind of like a mum and dad. It's loads of things. Isn't yeah, it? I mean, it is. It's definitely, like, there's loads of kind of elements yeah. to it. It's definitely different every day and, you know, lots of challenges and things. But I think that's what keeps it interesting as well and makes yeah. it fun. Like, yes, you're traveling with the girls and, you know, but and then there's the business side of it, running the yeah. business, which I also find really interesting and enjoy that side of it immensely. Um, but yeah, it is really diverse, you know, because yeah. some of these girls are really young, so yeah. you are. I mean, like Maddie, so. who we've had on, Maddie was um, with you, yeah. guys, isn't she? Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And you are, you sort of feel like you're a bit of a sort of, you know, you're not quite their parents, but you're sort of like an, an aunt or something. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. They sort yeah. of rely on or can yeah. trust. And, well, exactly. You know, you, also, when they go on jobs and stuff. And, yeah. I mean, they've got no one to, to ask or talk to. I mean, you know, that's is important because I always see you with girls on the jobs. Yeah, and I think that's important for them, especially to know that have there's someone support. there and have that support. Yeah. And especially the younger girls like Iris and Maddie. Oh, yeah, Iris has turned. And all of that. Iris, Iris um, Law. Yeah, and Amber, even. We've looked, yeah. had, you know, looked after her. I think she did one of these. Oh, yeah, as Amber well. as well. Oh, my God, yeah. yeah. Basically, everyone from Kerr's other done. Everyone of them. Um, but, you know, I think it's just nice for them to have that consistency and also just to have someone that's familiar. Yeah. As well, and they kind of feel that they you've just got their back a little yeah, bit. Yeah. Um, and especially now where there's like lots of interviews and press oh, yeah, and all true. that. Yeah. So you look after the girls yeah. loads and travel with them. I mean, if someone was going to say I'd want to be a model booker, um, do you think that they? Um, do you think it's not a nine to five job, is it? It's definitely not a nine to five job, no. <laughs> um, no, it's definitely more than that. And weekends and, you know, fashion weeks and stuff like that, yeah. it takes up a lot of your time and it can be quite all consuming. So it's definitely something you need to be really passionate about and that you want, you know, you kind of enjoy yeah. as well as it being your job. You How know? old was you when you first started being a model booker? You know what, I'm going to do a makeup as we talk okay. in. Um, because you've all seen me do this contour thing, I'm just going to do that quick, but you just talk to me because, you know, yeah. I'm aware that we're time limiting because she's busy and all the girls want to talk to her all the time. So, on, how old? Sure. This is my double whammy, go on. Um, so, well, I think I was 15 or 16 when I went like on my first shoot um, with my friend and then sort of got into it. And where did yeah. you live? Where, did you, where was you living? With your mum and dad or what? Yeah, no, I live with my dad. Yeah. Um, my parents are separated, so when yeah. I was about 13. So I was with my dad at the time and my sister at home. And then, um, yeah, and then I suppose I just, it was, I was around sort of 15, 16. Yeah. And, um, Sorry, look up. And yeah, that's when I sort of really got into it. And yeah. just, I was always interested in fashion. My dad was a hairdresser, so oh, he'd right. done hair a little bit as yeah. well when he was sort of younger. Um, so I kind of just remember always growing up hearing him talking about 
Different hair. Did, did, did he did he do fashion or was he, he just did, like a salon? He did. He was in a salon, but they the salon and he thought he assisted a little bit on a few shoots oh, when okay. he was younger. So I kind of would hear him sort of yeah. telling stories about people going in and out and yeah. stuff. And so yeah, it was just something I was always interested in. Yeah. Um, from quite a young age, and then yeah, I started in the agency full time when I was nine, eighteen or nineteen. I, I was quite young, right? Mm, yeah. And then, and then just kind of loved it and yeah. just, yeah, carried on, stuck with it really. Yeah. Um, and just one thing leads to another and then all of a sudden it's like however many years later. <laughs> yeah, I'm still doing You're it. You're still doing yeah. it. <laughs> Lucky she has, does have a life though. I mean, um, you wouldn't, you'd be surprised because she looks after loads of big girls. And then you come back to Sean and uh, her story. But I just want to say, right, so I've just done a little bit of contour, really easy. I just wanted to show her these. Because I've sent these, and these are really cute. Um, these and, are nice. Yeah, and they're like all the colours you get. So nice. Have a look. Because we're looking for like everyday things. Yeah, I'll, just, I'll show you this one. This is like brown. These are really good colours. Yeah. Yeah, I like so these. I'm just gonna. Something I'm just gonna that. do really something simple. Okay. <laughs> but obviously, I don't want to do it. She's going out, out. She's just. Um, She's just gonna have a day look. Going for my Italian lesson. Oh, are you? <laughs> yep. Mm. Got my Italian tutor. Okay, so you know, hopefully um, he's not too attractive. It's a young girl. Oh, <laughs> boring. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put like this color because I feel like it's a like, minky, minky color. On a, just on the whole of your eyelid. I'm going to use this brush because it's flat. Okay. And it'll pick up a lot of product. Um, and then I can blend it afterwards. But I just want to get it on the lid. And I'm just going to create a shape that's slightly bigger than where the socket line falls. I'm just going to pop that on. It just makes the eye look bigger. I'm just going to take it up. It'll give the appearance that the socket line is here rather than there. Open me. Okay, I'm going to smudge it a bit with my finger because remember when you're going to work you don't have ages to do. Like yeah. Stuff. So like big brush, flat brush, blob it on, take it a little bit higher than the socket line. I'm only doing that because that's what Sean needs because her socket line falls slightly lower and we're going to give the impression that it's higher to create a bigger eye. And then just blend that out like that. Look at me, look at me. Okay, so what we really need to do is just connect it underneath. You can use the same brush, just make sure you get rid of some of the product. So I'm gonna apply a little bit of this under the eye. This is what we call like, it could be like a burpee look. I'm just connecting it, because otherwise it will drag the eye down. And I don't wanna do that whole eye that goes up because that's too evening -y. Yeah, so. I mean, look at that, look at that. That's good, that's good. And then I might do like a, oh, I'm just saying, that's what you really need. Right, it's really simple. Simple, simple, that's simple quick simple. as well, yeah. that's super quick. This is a Mac Factor Precision, but it's brown and it is liquidy, but because it's got a flat tip, I feel like I can rest it on your eyelash. So look down for me. I'm just gonna intensify, close, close. Intensify the top, that's all. And just drag it out a little tiny bit. Open. Yeah, that's it really. <laughs> it's really, really slight. Open. I might need to blend that in. Yeah, do you normally always put the mascara on first? Before. I mean, I do yeah. because I can make a mess of it and I can get right to the root. I'm, I will um, top up with a bit of mascara later mm -hmm. because because um, I can. I don't need to get to the root after that. I'm just softening this line uh, because I just think that looks better on you. Some people look better with a harder line, but you look better with a softer line. Um, so you can always do that with a liquid eyeliner, even if you put it on, if you use something like a bioderm, you can soften it slightly, so it just embed in the root. Um, 
Now let me see, Sean, what am I gonna do? Right, so, um, I was gonna say, that's what I'm gonna do on the eyes. I will, I wanted to look at brow products. Sean doesn't do much to her brows. Um, but I've got those brow products, so everyone needs to try them out, basically. Brow bar, and you said you used a gel. Yeah, I sometimes just use the brush with the gel. So a clear gel, but yeah. this is a gel, like a, a nice brownie colour. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna actually make a mess, because there's an eraser one. I just wanna see if it works. Sorry, Sean. <laughs> uh, um, let's see, you will love this. I just want to show you the difference between that and that. That, like, I really yeah, can't can make really a mistake. I can't make a mistake with that yeah. either, which is great. It's quite but I do want to make a mistake. Um, I know you're dying I'm, to make a mess. I'm, I'm only because you're dying to I, make a mess. I, I, do you want to use yeah, that? I want to use this one that corrects it because I want to see how good it is. Um, okay, that's that. It's pretty amazing. Um, we like that. Yeah, you like yeah, that. That's great. Um, brow bar. Yeah, let's let's do something. Blink brow bar. Right, right okay, that's let's good. do this. But this is even the wrong colour anyway. So I'm just gonna, I'll put a little bit in here. Um, let's do something like that. I mean, oh, you're that making a real <laughs> now. Like, yeah, but I just, just want to see if it works. <laughs> so this is it. It's the brow corrector. And I was given it told that it's if you make a mistake or have too much product on your brow. Oh, um, that's on the other end. That's like a, another felt tip thing. Um, so, and then you can erase it or correct it. So obviously I've gone down here. So let's just see if this works. Oh yeah, really good. I mean, I'm rating these products. Impressed. Sorry, I'm in mean, joke, I can't even see. <laughs> Yeah, I like that. I mean, I don't know. Uh, you must be putting a lot of product on to um, to want to correct that. Maybe you could use it somewhere else. Maybe I made a mistake there. Just to say. Maybe I made a mistake there. It's no, good. It's good. No, it's good. It works. It works. Okay. I need to give you a bit of colour. Bear in mind, these are just some things that I've got here. I think this is going to be not the right colour for you, so I'm just going to put it in your cheeks. <laughs> because, and yeah, that's a lip definity, um, but you, it's not going to, you won't like it on your lips. I know that for a fact. Um, but it's quite nice on your cheeks, because that's what you can do, you can always use things rather thin. Okay. I would say I'm going to use a lip liner. This is nice. Um, I do have some matte lipsticks, I just realised, but the only problem is, you know, have you seen that thing that they do on the internet that's like really, really, really matte? Yeah. You won't want that. No, you won't want that, no. Um, I keep on looking at the same ones. So it's this one I think is going to be the best one. Yeah, because this is not, not too, no, too pink. This one. And this is what you have to do. Mm -mm, no, too pink. And you know what? I do mix them as well if you want to. Yeah, you yeah, can, yeah. I mean, alright, let's do that. Let's mix these two. These are Max Factor. I quite like these. Um, it's the cushion, cushion colours. I like these because they're easy and anyone could use them. So I just put a little bit. I mean, I'm always doing this with lipsticks anyway. And. Um, just mush them together. So that's really the colour that I wanted, which they didn't have. So, You've made you know, it we'll make it. <laughs> Smile and together. That's it. Um, Sean's got a really nice lip shape. Um, I'd like to define that a bit. Um, what have I got here? Mm. I'm not going to define it, but I'll make that. I might put a little bit of a blondy colour here. It's just to make it look a bit fuller, but she's got a really great shape. And I know when I've seen your lipstick, you look amazing. Of course. <laughs> uh, and, okay, oh, powder. this powder, I love this. I only used it today for the first time, and this is their brush that goes with it, and it's hourglass. 
And what I loved about it is when you do that, all the powder comes up, but it doesn't sit on the top. So it's all, when you open it, it all falls all over the place. So um, I love this, I'm just gonna use this. Only when needed. I probably need it myself. Need anyway, it. Yeah. Um, so that's I mean, nice, yeah, that's a nice brush, yeah, no? Nice. Yeah, really nice. I mean, what else can I do with my little things that I've got here? See, if I had like a blusher, I mean, see, sometimes like that could be a good like cheek colour. On a big brush, I just put a little bit on the end like that. Like I'm really like, you know, this is like, this is like Desert Island. You know, you only you fell on Desert like Island and you only had like a, 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 one a, thing. Yeah, you only had like an eyeshadow palette. All the things you could do with it. Not that you'd see anyone, and it really wouldn't matter. But there's just options. And if you don't have a lot of money, or if um, if you um, if your mum and dad won't buy you it, um, then you know what, well, you don't need that much because you can add lip. And I say, I use a little bit of um, eyeshadow and then I'm just gonna do this. It's a little bit more intense, so you've really got to be light with it. I'm really just putting a little bit. I mean, you will use a lot up if you carry on doing this, but you know, lighter rather than the bronzer. But yeah, I mean, that worked really well. That's a tip from the top. Great. Yeah. I mean, Sean hasn't seen herself, but I'm going to show her herself now so we can see if she likes it. Fingers crossed. Have a look. Ooh, great. No, that's really nice. Do you like that? Yeah, I really Honestly, like it. I, no, I really, really, I really like the eyes. Really simple. See, this, I've just got to show you this because what, I think what? this, you'll love this. Yeah, this that's was really so good. easy. Yeah. Right? Because it kind of put colour in, but it didn't make like, it didn't go over, yeah, it you know? Yeah, wasn't too much. Yeah. And it just, it still looks really quite natural, so it's kind of perfect yeah. for the day. Yeah, we love that. And it that. didn't take long. No, it didn't that take That is amazing. Yeah, That's we love that. Product. So what do you think the winner is? Um, if you can have anything. Well, I'd probably have that, to be honest. Oh, she would go yeah, for the brown, I would. go for the brown. I would. Yeah, I mean, I was really yeah. impressed with that. I don't have to worry about things like that for me, but I mean, if you do have lighter brows, I think that's really good and really natural. Yeah. So, Sean, what are you doing now? You're going to. Uh, I've got my Italian lesson, lesson. now, so I've got to go off and do that. Um, or maybe, like, we could come to the office once yes. and see what you do and what it is to be a model booker because um, I think people think it might be just quite a laugh and just swan around with all models, but actually, it's not. Not, it's not it's not it's not a laugh it's you know and you should love your job and everything but it's hard work yeah absolutely yeah, yeah. yeah it is but yeah you should come by sometime yeah because sure. that would be fun because i've never actually been to the office yeah you've Either. got to come yeah come for a cup of tea yeah all right then guys thanks for tuning in and i'll see you next time thanks sean oh look hold on a minute oh, before you do that out. hold on clips out got to shake it. Yeah, this is what neil well, taught us yeah. to do earlier yeah and i think shake I, it out. I think yeah just put a bit like that gorge yeah Major. See you next time. Bye.